Grade 6 Math Number 1.2 Divisibility Rules 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 I can keep counting. Whole numbers. Whole numbers are the number 0 and the counting numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, you know. Keep counting. A number is divisible by a whole number bigger than 0 if the quotient is a whole number with no remainder. What does that mean? It means a number is divisible. If you can divide the whole number and there's no remainder, then it's divisible by that number. Don't confuse it with divided by. Divided by means you're going to separate it into equal groups and you sometimes have a remainder. So look at this. 10 is divisible by 5 evenly with no remainder. See? It's not divisible by 3 because it goes in there three times with a remainder of 1 because 3 times 3 is 9. So it's not divisible by 3, it's divisible by 5 because it went in evenly, okay? And no fractions allowed and no decimals, okay? It's got to be a whole number. So, let me show you the rules we've got here. There are rules of divisibility that can help us divide just by looking at or by the sum of its digits. It doesn't matter how big the number is as long as it's a whole number. We actually have divisibility rules. A whole number is divisible by 2 if the last digit is even. See that? It's divisible by 3 if the sum of the digits is divisible by 3. So if you add the sum, if you add the numbers up, like the number 123, if you add the 1, 2, and 3, it equals 6, yeah, then it's divisible by 3. It's divisible by 4 if the last two digits are divisible by 4 like the number 6,208. The 8 is divisible by 4, so 6,208 is divisible by 4. It's divisible by 5 if the last digit is a 5 or a 0. You know how the 5 times table, all the numbers end with a 5 or a 0, 5, 10, 15, 20. The last digit is either a 5 or a 0, okay? We know it's divisible by 10 if the last digit is a 0. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, those are all divisible by 10. They all end in a zero, all right? So let me show you. There are other whole numbers that have rules too. The rule for six is it's divisible by six if the number is divisible by the two and by the three, not or. If it's divisible by both the two and the three, then it's divisible by six. And did you know that we can multiply any number by 9 and the product will equal 9 when the digits are added together? Sometimes we need to add those digits together to get 9, but in the end it'll always equal 9. Try it. Pick any number on your calculator, multiply it by 9, and try adding up the answer. Try adding up the product. So the rule for 9 is if the sum of its digits is divisible by 9, it is 2. Now there's a rule for 7 and 8 and 11 and 17 and some other bigger numbers, but they get quite complicated, and we don't want to get into that right now. We just want to get into what's going to make your life easier when you're doing long division and when you're doing 6th grade math. All right? So let's try it. Let's look at this chart and see if we can squeeze this one in two down here. We'll try to do both of these, and we'll try these numbers. Okay? So is 3,362 divisible by any of these numbers. Well, it ends in a 2, so that's even, so we know it's divisible by 2. When we try getting the sum of the digits, 3 and 3 is 6, and another 6 is 12, and the 2 is 13, 14. No, nope, the sum is not divisible by 3. 14 is not divisible by 3. 15 would have been, but not 14. 4,790. It ends in a 0, so we know that the 5 and the 10 are good. The zero is even, so it's a two. Let's try adding it up. Four and seven is 11, and nine is 20. Nope, three does not fit evenly into 20. How about the last two digits, 90? No, four times 20 is 80, and we can't fit evenly any more fours in there without a remainder, so nope, four doesn't work. How about six? No, it's not divisible by 3, so 2, but not 3, so 6 is out. How about 9? 
well, we added it up and we got 20, and 9 doesn't go in evenly to 20, so 9 doesn't work either. So we got 2, 5, and 10. So now we're going to do 549. It doesn't have an even number, so 2's out. It is divisible by 3, because 9 is divisible by 3. And when we add it together, 9 and 9 is 18. So that even proves more that it's divisible by 3. And now we know it's divisible by 9, because it equals 18, and 2 times 9 is 18. The last two digits, 49, no, those are not divisible by 4. And it doesn't end with a 5 or a 0, so 5 and 10 are out. So we've got 3 and 9 for 549. Now let's look at this number, 1,201,221,210. It's divisible by 2, 3, 5, 6, and 10. It's got a 0 at the end, so it's even, so 2 works. When we add it all up, 1 and 2 is 3. And one more is 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. We ignore the zeros, of course. 12 is divided, is divisible by 3, so 3 works, so now we've got 2 and 3. It ends with a 0, so 5 works. It's divisible by 2 and 3, so 6 works. And it ends with a 0, so 10 works. See? And it doesn't matter how big the number is, we can apply this rule, all right? So... These will just help you when you're doing long division so that you can quickly say, oh, you know what? I know what number can go into that. So my advice is to write these rules down, to pause the frame right now, write the rules down, like on the inside cover of your spiral or whatever, and save them and reflect back on them and use them as you're doing long division. Okay? See you next video. Bye.